everything is huge. A six foot rattlesnake captured in a Claremont yard about a year ago. The guy is able to corral it and get it safely away from the home. Part of Lake County's Venom 2 unit. If somebody gets a snake or something strange in their house, their garage, their property, they end up calling 911, it seems like. And there's a python at my front door. Why not give them the tools and the training to be able to provide the service for the citizens and, and deal with their problem right then? There's a difference between something that's going to hurt you or kill you and something that's just, you know, a non-venomous snake. It's about, about eight feet. And it's on your front porch? Yep, he's on my front porch. The snake ended up being a boa constrictor. Discovered soon after. He is big. He's very big. The newly trained Venom 2 unit was established in Lake County. Only Miami has fire crews with similar training. We're able to identify venomous snakes. We're able to relocate those snakes within Lake County. And we're also able to deliver life-saving anti-venom. This is for the pit vipers. So rattlesnakes, uh, pygmy rattlesnakes, cotton mouth. The snakes the unit capture and relocate are also likely candidates to be milked so their venom can be used for future treatment of bite victims. The valuable anti-venom is also in the hands of venom too, ready if needed in an emergency. So the faster we can get anti-venom in there to remove it, the better their chances of the tissues healing and not causing any permanent damage. There certainly are some snakes in Central Florida that can hurt you, but the vast majority totally harmless. If you see a snake and don't know what it is, steer clear of it. Majority of the snakes, they don't want to do anything with you. You know, they, they just want to be left alone. They want to go on their merry way. There is no reason to touch a snake, handle the snake, pick up the snake. You know, that's how, that's how you get bit accidentally. The Venom 2 crew gets its initial training and follow-up work from state wildlife officers. They can get from a dozen to two dozen calls a month. Most of those calls handled with a photo sent to Venom 2, followed by a reassurance to the caller that the snake they're concerned about is actually harmless. It's not just snakes that have venom, you know, uh, spiders do as well. The crew with special training also does what you'd readily expect from first responders. They fight fires, they go to vehicle accidents, medical calls, all of it. With a little extra expertise, just in case. In Lake County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.